I'm riding, I'm vibing. Keep that same energy when I press by again. I'm riding, I'm vibing. You lost a good one and you can't remember why again. I'm riding, I'm vibing. Keep that same energy. Okay, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Life with Her. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's get into it, okay? And what's up, LWH gang? We finna get into it. <clears throat> oh, y'all y'all see me on my shirt? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You see me? You see me? Yeah, this one I'm cute and got my hair did. So let's just go and get the disclaimer out, okay? I am in my um, natural, nappy, beautiful state right now. Cause I don't get my hair braided till my sister comes to town in a couple days. So, shout out to my braider. Period. So, really, put y'all on game real quick. Whenever you see my hair like this, it's more than likely I'm going through a hair breathing phase, which is what I call my natural nappy state. Okay, I love it. I'm here for it. Right. Um, my hair journey is one of a kind to me because I've had my. I know this is not the topic of this video, but just so we can. Uh, I've had my hair cut off like I've st I started cutting my hair when I started but I cut my hair when I was like 12 I want to say 13 cut my hair all off um and I was able to get colors that's when my parents started letting me play with colors and stuff like that and I was just obsessed I've always been obsessed with color pink and purple in particular are the colors that I've always done um and I just really ain't grown out of it and I don't feel like I got to now, I do have my phases where I feel like I just want my black because it gives grown and sexy. You don't play with me, but it is what it is. So, whenever you see my hair like kind of like this and not really done, it's because it needs a break and it's just breathing. And I typically have, you know, it braided up, pop me a little wig on, gone on about my day. Um, or I have like braids, protective style, something like that. But even for braids and stuff like that. You still want to let your natural hair just breathe because it causes a lot of tension, right? So, even from protective, certain protective styles, you need a break. But I'm going to get ready to get some braids. I haven't had braids in about two or three weeks. Um, I had a sip press two or three weeks ago. So, I've been letting it run its course. And it's still fairly straight. My roots are starting to thicken. Y'all, I am recently permed. Um... I've been natural, or I started my natural journey when I cut my hair off when I was 13. So, it was like 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. Um, and there have been a couple times where I've permed my hair in between. I think this is probably like the second or the third time in those all those years that I've permed my hair. Um, but a lot of times, I ended up I end it up just cutting my hair back off, starting my journey back over. Hence why my hair ain't long running, because I just typically will cut it off. Um... I cut, I not cut, but I combed my locks out about a year ago. Um, I had locks for about two, three years. This is when I did my last cut. Um, my last big chop was like two, three years, three years ago, and I started my locks right after that chop, and my locks grew pretty, pretty, fairly long, um, fairly fast. But I cut them off, let not cut them off, combed them out last year because I, y'all, I don't like see, doing or seeing everybody do what I do. <laughs> And I really took them out because I feel like everybody named Mama was getting locks, and I, I don't know. It was just like, why y'all, why y'all gotta do what I gotta do? You know what I'm saying? But um, I do feel like in the future I will probably get locks again because it's grew my hair this length to this state. My hair grew a, a lot while I was in his locks. Um, but I did find it difficult. People are doing it more now, but when I first got my locks, I found it hard to get like protective styles other than a wig, like. People act like they ain't know how to braid over locks, like that, cause all it is is tucking. They act like they couldn't do that, so I had to do a lot of my hair braiding protective styles on my own, and I just ain't like that. Um, and then when they grew, some people, you know, when your hair is shorter in locks, people put a wig over. But some people be like, when it's too long, they be like, can't do that, even though people do it now. So it's just a lot that has changed in the hair industry community, and stylists are doing more things now. Um, so I have found a couple people who will braid over locks. So maybe at some point I'll get my locks back. I wouldn't now just because I'm sick of being bald here. Like I want my hair to at least touch my neck. And if I got locks, it's going to shrink. My hair's going to be half this length. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to grow my hair out. Um, 
whether it be natural or permed right now i am permed and i'm going to attempt to continue my permed journey perms are not bad if you get them done correctly by a professional um and when you're supposed to just make sure you treat your hair do it right by your hair and perms aren't bad i've seen that countless and countless of times um i know plenty of people in my family who get perms and nothing's wrong with their hair their hair grows their hair is long beautiful i just was doing a natural thing because that's what i knew how to maintain and i feel like when you got permed hair if you can't do it don't do it go to a professional but going to a professional may cost you a little bit and you know i was just younger you know i just didn't really care that much about my hair like that really I was fine with leaving it natural, throw a push, throw a wig on, whatever. But now I really want my hair to grow out all long and stuff. Um, so I've been going to my beautician. And we've been working on getting rid of my dead ends. Because like I said, I have had color on my hair. This color is what grew out um, after I took my locks down. So my hair here is, so my locks, when I took them down, where as you can see where the brown was, it was only this length wherever you see color that's how long my locks was and now it's grown out a whole lot whole lot so yeah this is not what this video is supposed to be about i was just trying to give a disclaimer so y'all don't be checking me and my hair in the comments because really you command your business okay i'm going through something waiting on how to come to my hair anyway so this video is really about finances and like saving and prioritizing and things of that nature so i'm gonna give y'all a little background on me i have oc to the freaking d okay as well as adh to the d adhd um and so i have i'm, I'm very over composed obsessive a little bit um and when i started first learning about money when i was like 18 because the first time i encountered anything with any funds i wanted to try and go get myself a car I ain't had not nail liquor credit. Nothing was ever. Well, I lied. Wait a minute. Let me think. Yeah, I did have some credit because I got my first uh, credit card. Am I, am I telling the truth? I might not be. I might not be. I can't remember. But I got a credit card. It was either 16 or 18. It was like a, a school credit card. I think I was happy in 18 because it was a college credit card. So, it must have been after the fact. But I tried to get a card when I hit 18, y'all. Went to a lot. They ran my credit for like two three years straight just continuously like and i wouldn't even looking no more after they told me no my credit wasn't good enough i couldn't find a co-signer with good enough credit um like my parents but no disrespect no shade no tea but nobody taught them really that you know how to credit game work or how to manipulate it to know that it was that important so they credit wasn't the best to be able to help me and be a co-signer so I started learning about credit and finances and I feel like I'm a freaking guru after that it took me about a year or some change to get to a 700 credit score so when I hit 19 I had a 700 credit score really seven I think that's when I first hit 700 of course your score fluctuates and I think the highest my score has ever been was like a 665 680 somewhere in there it's real close to 800 real close Nonetheless, I did a lot of investing within the last year or two, and it has brought my credit score down, but we ain't worried about it because I know how to work the system, back. boom, right? So right now I'm in a phase of saving and repayment so I can boost my score back up, and I can do this all over again where I can invest thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into my next life project and then have to rebuild my credit again. This is just how the game go, in all honesty, like, and I try to tell people, like, when you get your score up there to that point, like, don't be so... It might sound bad, but in all honesty, this, because I'm an investor in a lot of stuff, like I'll get my score to a certain and I don't certain point and I don't I don't keep in mind that it's going to stay there or that I'm going to maintain it there. All I need to know is how to get it back there. I'm not worried about it. Like um, my score right now is like in the sixes. It's in the low sixes. Like I said, I did a lot of investment, a lot of maxing out. And I know it's going to be some people in here who probably some professionals at the credit and all the financial analysts and all this crap. Mind your business because I ain't asking you for your opinion. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. I just know what I'm doing, right? I'm going to say that. Um, but a lot of people be like, oh, don't make your stuff out. Don't let it carry your balance, blah, blah, blah. And to each his own, do what you want to do, baby. But I know how to work the system for me. 
that's all I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay. Um, so yeah, I I maxed out probably all of my cards. And my score is at like a low six. But I'm not concerned about that because right now this is the season to save and I'm gonna put it back and then I'm just gonna spend it again anyway because I invest and when I invest, I invest bitch. Um for those who don't know, I just bought a or not just bought it back in November. So I'm at the six month mark now of my investment, but I invested probably about forty to thirty thousand. That's just to start into a facility. Um, I have a event center here in Memphis, the Platform 901. Check us out, www.platform901.com. If you ever need fitting, need somewhere to host your event, baby showers, birthday parties, graduation parties, engagement parties, party parties, concerts, whatever it may be, we where you need to be, period. Over 6,000 square feet, hold over 600 people. We got you. We in there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I invested about thirty to forty thousand dollars into my facility, hence why I said I mixed out all my cards. Okay. Um, and it's about six months. I don't expect the return on my investment, um, which is a ROI return on investment until probably about the end of the year, maybe next year. I'm thinking about a year, year and a half before I see a full return on investment because and when we're talking about returns on investment, a lot of people have to consider like Yes, I invested. Yes, my investment. For one, your investment is going to take time to make money because you have to make sure that it's perfect before you can expect it to start to earn, right? Um, and then, of course, you got your kinks and things like that that you go through, which that's pretty much the phase that I'm in right now with my facility with the six-month mark. So we're learning on the things that we need to correct from things that we've done or um, better uh structures or processes and things like that so we're correcting those things in this season of my business um but not only that you have to like i said you need to make sure that everything's right you need to do your edits and corrections which is going to cost you um and then even when the facility starts to earn it has it creates its own level of bills so we got a light bill we have a rent bill we have all these, you know, lawyers and contractors and all these different people and employees and staff. And it's a lot of stuff that it has its own bills now. So not only does it have to earn, it needs to pay for itself first. So whatever it earned, got to go to all its bills first. And then it could start to figure out how to pay out its investor, hence myself. So it's a process. Um, but yeah, I spent a lot of money, maxed out a lot of my stuff. Um... What I have learned, though, from being, I've, I'm have i probably considered very frugal with my money. Um, and I don't think that's a bad thing, but I'm frugal with myself with my money. And that's not a good thing, if that, like, if that makes sense. Like, I won't spend money on myself if I don't have to. Like, I'll take care of the bills and just, it just be there. Um, which I don't feel like that's a good thing. Some people say it is, but I don't because I never, I'll, I'll get to a place where I'd be like, dang, like, Am I not making no money and I'm making money? I just don't spend it on myself. So I have to make sure that I treat myself. And there are now certain things that I know that I like for my personal self out of my funds. I don't really too much care about my hair, to be quite honest. This sounds so bad when we just talking about this hair thing. The hair, she cool. I go get my hair done once a month and I just figure it out the rest of the month. I really don't care. It's just God on the truth. But I do like to keep my nails and my feet done. I love me a good pedicure. I don't want to miss pedicure. I need these are things that I only require once a month. Um, of myself. Some people like to go get these things done bi-weekly. And if that's in your budget and in your means, by all means do that. Personally, and it's not that it's not in my means. I just don't I don't need to. I don't find it like necessary. I don't even like to, to be honest. Like I like to do my spa day or spa week one time and just be done i don't want to go and do this every two weeks just a lot so i like to get my hair done i like to and i have a spreadsheet here i'm not gonna show y'all because it got numbers in it real numbers for me but i'll tell y'all <clears throat> so i had this category in my budget that i call fun money um and it includes my nails and my feet so i want my nails done and i want me a good pedicure because i love them hot rocks and a good scrub on my feet don't play I like to get my hair done once a month, go get me a wax, go get my lashes done and a massage. Now, lashes and a massage is something new that I added up on there. So those won't always happen every month. But like if I want to swap something out or I don't need something done, things like that. Like sometimes I might not need my feet done again. 
and instead of my feet i'll go get my lashes or instead of my lashes i'll go get a massage just those are the things that i know that i might want and then i'm i said that i was going to start include shopping in there because i have a ton of clothes and i'll take a picture of like my little closet area that i made um and that's i got a lot of clothes it's not even all the clothes in here i find the tiktok video and post it right here so yeah i got a lot of clothing so i don't feel like i need to personally shop for no more clothes i need to find accessories so that i can't alternate my clothes because i don't have a lot of shoes like i got a lot of heels but i don't got a lot of shoes and everywhere is not heel occasion it could be but i'm just not one of them girls i'm not gonna do that time but i buy heels like i'm gonna wear them all day every day very strange to me anywho so i'm gonna make a category for shopping for myself and probably give myself a budget like once a month okay you could spend a max of maybe 200 on shopping and i'm now trying to figure out okay what are the things that i would shop for that are beneficial i don't like to just do stuff just to do stuff um but for me like shoes i need new shoes so like tennis shoes like preferably ones that's my favorite brand of shoe um or like any type of vans or converses crocs those new type them shoes that's what i need to invest in um and then like accessories so like purses probably because i don't have a lot of purses i'm not a big purse girl i like like small shoulder bag but i will carry me a little baby bag. don't play with me around so yeah i think i'm those are the things i'm investing in. and then as well as like i guess like more jewelry or accessories because i don't have a lot of it um so yeah that's what i'm doing so what i said i was going to do is i'm just going to make a list of places that i shop or things that i know i want and i'm going to put them in my cart this might be a lot but this is basically a just a shop with me or help me create a wish list type of thing um and i'm gonna be doing all things like personal care all those things because y'all when i say i got back stock i be back stocking like let me some of these are going to be things that are like necessities and then some of them just gonna be things that like i may want so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about man we sit down okay so i don't know where to start all my stuff is just in really weird places um so i buy hand soap for myself don't ask me why it's in my room not my bathroom i want to get some floating chills and make my bathroom up and make it you know better for me or whatever but i got a little sister who like to be in my stuff so i try not to put too much in the bathroom like we'll share but she be ODing sometimes so i love me some um dial antibacterial soap now this is hand soap and it is scented and i know some of y'all finna come for me but I'm just going to be quite honest. They have some of this that is unscented antibacterial soap. And it works on my skin. Like my face. I know y'all finna get on me. But I'm just being quite honest. I'm just telling you what it is. It's a great face wash for me. Okay. Now there are other products messed up my labels wait so i got this little thing right here beside my bed y'all see something dripped on my labels they are not waterproof but i'm um, just gonna show y'all like in my skincare drawer the things that i use y'all know what y'all need to tell apple to do when we're recording on the phone that they need to be able to we need to be able to flip the screen just like we do on snapchat in the midst of recording instead of stopping and then turning this doing too much anyway so i don't see it you know Okay, so I have this apricot scrub that I use whenever I feel like I need to exfoliate my skin really good. This is great. Um, and then, like, this brand is a new brand. Open Up, I like this too. This is technically, like, a generic brand, I guess. So, what I typically use is, um, I don't know, it's some other apricot scrub. Start with an S, but it's at Target. I'm, you know, see. And then, I also use Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit. This is the only spell that I've ever used, ever, like, will ever use is this like smell or like kind the um pink grapefruit foam and scrub i use that and then this right here is my turmeric bar that i made and it's just made with a lot of like 
oils and um of course turmeric all of that stuff that's good and moisturizing for your skin and it lathers very 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 well so those are like typically my skincare things that i use um so those will be getting added in the cart um and then i'm obsessed with dove spray on deodorant i have so much in this like i got these cans everywhere um i just be buying different scents and i really don't need to because i have so freaking many like back stock go crazy oh and then i'm also obsessed with these tree hut scrubs they are great 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 for body exfoliating and um i still wax my legs so i feel like i still need to exfoliate i feel like you don't have to exfoliate as much i mean i shave my legs i feel like you don't need to exfoliate as much if you wax i don't know if that's true or not so don't listen to me but that's just what i think um so i use that and then i also love i know how y'all feel about johnson johnson but i love the johnson and johnson um oil gel this don't go wrong i love this this don't this don't never ain't never did me wrong i love it um and then i have nair i don't really use it no more because it used to irritate my skin and then it stopped and then it didn't and so i don't use it no more and then i love this this lotion it's really really good the cocoa butter kind i think they have one that's green that my mom be getting um it's really good so that's typically the lotion that i'll use and that's the oil that i use and then of course you can't go wrong no vaseline baby don't, don't play with me with the vaseline um but like i said i have a lot of back stock i'm gonna show y'all my back stock drawer so my back stock i have all of these mini toothpastes and flosses i use those for when i travel um i have some more i got four like four of these in different scents so that's back stock to me because and i know for some people it's like not but it is because these take a long time to run out um, I only get another one if, like, I get tired of a scent and don't want to use that no more. But four different scents, like, I ain't going to run through that too fast. It's going to take me take me a minute. I probably don't get rid of all four of these till probably, like, six months. Like, really. Because it don't take that much. And don't judge me, but I don't have to put on deodorant every day. Like, I don't. I don't sweat a lot. I don't do a lot of labor that can... can what a word I'm looking for? That requires me to sweat or nothing like that. Um, so... And that's that deodorant like last it works um yes i do shower every day y'all i take my baths twice a day but i don't have to i don't put on deodorant when i go to bed some people do sometimes i do but it's very rare that i do that because for a while i'm going to be um so yeah and then i have like four of these i don't even use these these are like in case of emergency or if somebody another you know woman in the house needs them i don't really use them like that um, I got extra mouthwash. Um, I got hand sanitizer. And, of course, my Neutrogena. I have a small one and a big one. Um, so, I'm going to tell y'all why I use small and big stuff. This video is going to be long. I might have to do a part two. Unless y'all want it. So, I do small and big stuff because I just had... I had this experience at the airport. And they threw my stuff away because it was not the right size. But I would have checked my bag. But the lady... Was telling me that even if I check my bag, if it ran through again and it flagged it, that, that I couldn't take it. And then I would have just checked my bag and paid for it for nothing. That didn't sound right to me. So I said forget it. And I had to leave my brand new bathroom by the works that I just bought. So my feelings hurt. So that's that experience. So now I'll just make sure that I buy like travel size bottles of just random like Boston Dollar Store. That way I can put my toiletries in there if I'm ever going out of town. And for perfumes, because that's what got thrown away that I really cared about. I bought some lotion too, but I didn't care. But I bought this um, perfume from Bath Bodies. It was on sale for $4, and they made me throw it away. Um, buy these little perfume things. Refillable perfume bottles that I saw on Amazon. Yeah, I'm going to get into that. So, that way I can buy my stuff. Because I'm like, buying the small bottles be just as expensive as the big bottles. So I just buy the perfume refiller and be able to take my perfume with me. So <clears throat> I just want to, because even though I'm in the season of saving, I'm not going to stop spending money. Like I'll save, but that don't mean don't spend your money. Don't treat yourself. So that's what it is. So I'm just going to write down 
kind of like the stores that I know that I shop at frequently, like places I know I may want to shop. Um, and then I'm gonna go make an account because some of these places have rewards and things like that. That way I'm saving and I'm just not out here doing stuff. And then we're gonna go make accounts with all these companies and then I'll put like the stuff in the cart that I may like or may wanna purchase. That way that I am not impulse buying. And I, with ADHD, even though I'm frugal with my money, I will impulse buy. Um, I'm very good at saving, but when I get to buying stuff without a list, without a plan, without a reason, I'm just gonna be buying. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And then, yeah, so I'll be back when I'm working on this. Some energy in it, bitch, and just use your brain. 